some of you might like this video or some of you might like this video, meaning you will click on the like button down below. And whether you like it without liking it, <laughs> I don't care. I'm just happy that you're watching it. But maybe that's a bad philosophy to have in the age of social media and like culture. We're told to like things before we even see them. And a lot of times a like isn't even a like. It's a metric used to serve someone else's needs, whether that's gaining them more corporate exposure or simply filling a teenager with high self-esteem. Because imagine the pain a teenager must go through when they post an awesome picture on Instagram and only get eight likes. I don't get it. I'm still confused why it's socially acceptable to talk to someone and use your phone at the same time, but it's considered rude if you return a text message two days late, or you don't like your friend's picture on Instagram of them crossing their feet at the beach. And then there's Twitter. You don't like on Twitter, you favorite on Twitter. And that's an oxymoron because the word favorite suggests one. I have 943 favorites on Twitter. That makes me a social media hypocrite. And then there's times where I'll see a great picture on Instagram and I'll compliment someone in real life forgetting to actually like it on Instagram itself. And what's a compliment if you can't quantify it? So yes, I admit it. My social media etiquette sucks. But if you'd put your phone down for one second and get to know me, you'll discover that I'm respectful, I'm courteous, and I'm very easy to like.